Soto and Chad here, and today we're going to be talking about a demo we both tried out, Bramble the Mountain King, which sounds a little weird at first. Um, what were your first thoughts of this demo? Oh, well, I mean, I had no idea. I purposely did not look at anything uh, for this. I kind of went into it totally blind and um, downloaded it, and for the first, like, you know, 15 minutes, I was like, this is absolutely stunning. This is one of the most gorgeous games I've seen in a long time. You very quickly find out that you're like the size of an ant, yep. even though like you're a little boy. And I'm like, okay. And again, I'm going through it, and I'm just like, wow, look at these, look at the grass, look at this beautiful stuff. This is great. And I'm going through it, and I'm just having a wonderful time. And then uh, I wasn't. And it started with, I think, falling into the mountain or the cave or something like that. And it was from then on that things uh, changed quite dramatically. So what did you think when you first came across that? That's when the game got good for me. You know, and like mm -hmm. I said, because at first, like I said, it, it was kind of peaceful. But again, I don't know what's going on. I'm in there and you realize it's kind of a puzzle. How do I maneuver my way out? Like, like, like for example, <laughs> there's a part where you push a cage with the guy in it to break yeah. a bridge. And, and at first yep. when I did that, because I, I, the way I went, I'm like, did I just murder someone that I was not supposed to? Like, I didn't know if these guys were good. I didn't put them in the cage. What if this is just someone that's trapped? And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, shit. But you know what? They're all yelling at me and stuff like that. You know, like I said, it's trial and error. You know, kind of like, you know, if you screw up, you start again. You see what happens. So oh, nice and easy. Nice and nice easy. And Which and I easy. died immediately. I was like, oh, you can <laughs> die in this game. Well, but to know. I did not die until uh, you got left the cave and went back outside. Um, the first uh, time I died, which we will get into in a second. Because, yes, after mm -hmm. you kind of get out of this cave and you're figuring out the, the, the tutorial part, they're like, hey, you know, use this for your light, you know, and you jump and you do this and you're climbing on cage and you just, once you're having escaped, a great time. I was having an awesome time. You're kind of stuck in the swamp and you're moving and. Yeah, um, I pretty much was horrified as soon as I saw that thing playing the fiddle in the middle of the lake. I thought at first I was looking at a water hag, and I'm like, oh, what is that in the distance? And all of a sudden it fucking turns and looks at me like all fucking crazy and stops playing the fiddle, and I'm like, okay. Fuck Chad. <laughs> Chad has tricked me again, and now I am playing a goddamn horror game which I did not want to play. As we all know, I hate horror games with a passion. And all of a sudden, I'm fighting for my goddamn life as a little, I don't know, person uh, trying to get away from this music. I don't understand why this thing's horrifying. I end up having to, like, you know, duck behind rocks, and then uh, I get away, and then now it's chasing after me. I feel like I'm playing Attack on Titan, and this thing is trying to eat me, and... It's like chasing me everywhere, and I'm not having a good time. I am just like, what happened to the beautiful, awesome game that I was playing? Like, this is a terrible change of events. And I just kept saying, fuck Chad, uh, over and over again. <laughs> fuck you, Chad. I can't believe so, you did this. I thought this was a Making Friends game. Well, it's not. And, you know, so this demo did everything I felt like a demo should do for me. It, mm. You know, introduce the game. This is a short demo. You know, this is not even a half an hour, depending on how much you kind of look around or, you know, how much you suck at puzzles. But to me, like, easily a half an hour, if that, you know, for oh, your yeah, first time for sure. doing this. Um, and it intrigued me. And like I said, usually, you know, these storybook games don't. But for some reason, this one grabbed my attention. And you, if you read the book, I don't know, from the dead skeleton that you passed I did. in the final cave, you find out, you know, a little bit about the violin player and, you know, how he got bullied by all the people and this is how he you know basically took over and i was like oh wow so this grabbed my interest and after playing it i was like i really want to play this game because it's a style i like just a little bit of puzzles you know a little try and error it's not too <laughs> difficult um it looks amazing and everything yeah. about this game literally grabbed me and you know as you at the end scene you know they leave you on a good cliffhanger when you finally get grabbed by the creature. I don't know what else to call him, but yeah, he's the dude. He's the Pied Piper who ended he's up the Pied killing Piper. everybody in the town because he made them dance until they till they died. So the only thing I did not like about this demo, um, 
or and it's very minute and mm. it's a it's a t- when you're going down the creek and you know you're trying to dodge all you know like the rocks or little bo- oh god said, the end part right before the end part but i'm just talking about going down the creek because you yeah. know and for me you know you move you know how you're going to move your character because you you know like you said one bump you're dead you know so this character you know, oh i died a, a lot one- there and I think it was the camera work, and that's what was pissing me off because I was going left, and then it would hard left the camera as well. Like you know, yeah. it wasn't like a set camera, so you weren't in control of it, and so you overdo it or underdo it until you get yeah. trial and error. I'm like, I, I I don't know. I did not like the camera work in that part because in my mind, when you're doing that, I was trying to control the character, but the camera when it moves and you're still pressing left, you're going more insane. So. I, that's the only downfall to this game I had outside of the fact that it didn't teach me Doc. I love this game. And I will be honest, this is a game, maybe not a day one purchase for me, but see, it, I know we talk wow. about, and, well, here's the thing. What would we pay? Mm-hmm. My concern, there, this game is, there's no way. I do not feel this game is starting at 60 or 70 bucks. I do not Hell feel no. like, I, you know, my concern, because I'm like, well, maybe it'll start at 40. I think this is going to be a short game. I think this is going to... My concern is this is going to be like a four or five hour game tops. I could be Mm. wrong. I do not know much about that. And that puts my... What I would say I would pay for it in perspective. Because, yeah, this could be be free for PS Plus like Stray was. But I don't know where the starting point is because I think this is going to be a short game. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this is like maybe a little bit longer, eight or nine hours. I think that would be, you know, if they did it. But I feel this is going to be you know once you know it i I don't know a four or five hour game that being Mm. said you know and i'm thinking i don't know what the price point's going to start i would probably pay 15 for this and i would i'm 100 percent. i know we kind of say this and this but i 100 percent. when this game ever comes out i will be playing this you know if this game is 20 on day one i will that's when it will be that's a day one purchase for me i will actually do that for this but i feel like it's going to be 40 because a lot of these games are but I, my concern, it's going to be short. So until I learn a little bit more, it's hard to say. 15, definitely. If it's a 20-day one, yeah, I'm checking out this game. Because this game had everything that I liked. It's, I like simplicity every now and then, you know, in between our RPGs. So that's where I stand with this. What about you? What are your thoughts if you're ever going to actually play this? I mean, you know, my first thought is I would pay fucking zero dollars for this. <laughs> okay? Because, like, I don't fucking want to play a game that's going to make you freaked out. But... You know, objectively speaking, I was kind of, I fell into the same kind of area of, that you did as well, like the twenty twenty five dollar range. Um, I don't know if I'd go as low as fifteen. If it was actually four hours, then yeah, I think that fifteen is pretty justifiable. Um, yeah. But twenty twenty five, you know, it's kind of like an interesting experience. It, it feels like it's going to be kind of like a limbo slash inside type of a gig. Um, except with more colors, there's definitely a platforming aspect and puzzles. Not a fan of the horror stuff, but you know, I, I can't deny that you know it's an absolutely gorgeous game. And for this demo, it feels like it's going to be like a Hansel and Gretel kind of a vibe, just kind of like from looking at the cover art and all that. So if it gets deeper, you know, that, that I'd pay more towards that 25 mark. But you know, again, that's probably where I'm going to land. Is probably like around 20 bucks. Yeah, agree. Because it depends. I I, like I said, what it, I if this do. game is a little bit longer, I can definitely go up that high. But that's my, like I said, my concern is this is going to be a short game. But if it's free, I'll play it. You know, and oh, hell yeah. follow up on it. But you know, I, other than that, it's like you know, how much do I want to pay to scare the shit out of myself? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm willing to pay a pretty penny for that. So. Oh, I know you are. Anyhow, Bramble the Mountain King does not have an official release date yet. It just says it's coming out in 2023. So we're going to have to wait and see what this is going to be like. Really? No no date at all? No date at all. As of, wow. as of us talking about it, it just says release date 2023. That's all I know. So we got oh, some sure. time. We got some time. But anyhow, definitely a game I'll be checking out later. Maybe. Definitely. <laughs> 